What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Getting started today, just turn all the lights on. We don't officially open for like another two or three minutes, but I figured I would just, you know, start the intro now, get the vlog going. Um, Abby stayed home today, so it's just going to be me. Um, if it gets really, really busy, then I'll probably call Josh and have him come in. Um, but yeah, should be a good day. It's Thursday. Usually Thursdays are a little busy because we're closed on Wednesday, so a lot of people you know, they, they either know we're closed on Wednesday, so they come on Thursday, or they try to come on Wednesday, realize we're closed, and then come back today. Um, but yeah, the last couple game store vlogs have been lacking, and I did want to apologize for that. Um, I do want to film some more stuff, so I'm planning on doing that today, and the fact that I'm alone is going to help with that. Usually when I have people here, we're talking, we're getting stuff done, and I don't focus on the vlog, but when I'm here by myself, Anytime the store is empty, I'm thinking, okay, I can film now. And so I always do that. And when I'm here alone, the vlogs tend to be longer. So planning on doing a lot of filming today, getting you guys a good video. So let's just jump into it. Just got a trade in here, guys. This case of Halo 2 is empty, but there is a system in here, which might have the game in it. We have NHL 99, a GameCube uh, clear and Indigo controller. Some Game Boy games here, Tiny Toons, Spyro. Top Gear Pocket 2, which I just got the box and manual for, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. Mario Bros. Deluxe, a couple memory cards, and then this whole box here. Best game in the lot, Resident Evil 2. Uh, the guy, he, he's helping his parents clean out their house right now, and he's finding all his old stuff, so this is what he's brought in so far, but he said he's probably gonna be bringing in some more. We have Ghost Recon, Wheel of Fortune. It's a random mix of stuff here. Guitar Hero 3, Soul Calibur 3, DDR Max 2, TIE 3, DDR Supernova, Guitar Hero 2, a GameCube uh, battery, and like a little Game Boy Advance holder thing. Three Game Boy Colors, two of them are the original Pokemon ones. He said that he had these since he was a kid, so they are not like repro shells. These are the original ones. Super cool. We have not had any of these traded in yet, so to get two of them at once is awesome. The only unfortunate thing is that none of these have the battery covers. We have battery covers for these, that one's not a big deal. We have battery covers I could put on here, but they're not gonna be the matching blue, so I'm gonna have to order some of those. Then we have just a bunch of controllers in here and stuff. There's, you know, GameCube, two green Xbox ones, um, two Super Nintendo and N64, and then there's a, a Sega Genesis Model 1 and an original Xbox in there. There's cables and stuff. Uh, excuse me, it's a little dusty. But pretty cool stuff overall. Nothing like super crazy. The Game Boys are the coolest thing. And then the Resident Evil 2 is also pretty cool. Like I said, he's going to be bringing in some more stuff just as he finds it. Um, he said they should have way more Game Boy games. Um, there's an N64 controller and a couple games. So I'm assuming there's going to be probably a system. Hopefully some more games. Um, there's also like... Xbox 360, PS2, PS3, PS1 games, but no systems or controllers. So maybe they'll find that kind of stuff as well. Um, he said he knows he has like some Dance Dance Revolution pads and some Guitar Hero guitars. I told him that, you know, definitely bring it here before he takes it to Goodwill, which was his other option. Um, we'll pay, we'll pay what we can. We'll pay for what we can and whatever like Dance Dance Revolution pads we can't really pay for. We sell them for five bucks. So He'll probably just end up donating those instead of, you know, taking them to Goodwill. But there's some cool stuff in here where he was able to get some cash. He was happy. And we got some cool stuff for the store. Just got another little trade in here, guys. We got Portal Knights for the Switch, which I've never heard of. And it looks pretty cool. I think I'm going to probably take this one home tonight and try it out. Uh, the guy said it's kind of like Minecraft, but a little more like RPG-ish. And... That looks awesome to me. I actually wanted to pick up Dragon Quest Builders because I've been seeing a lot about that game. I know like the second one's coming out at some point, but that seems like my type of game. So I definitely want to check this one out. Then we have Mario Super Sluggers, New Super Mario Brothers Wii, Wii Sports Resort, and Rock Band 3. If you guys don't know, Rock Band 3 for the Wii is actually pretty uncommon. Um, these two were the most expensive games out of this whole lot. So. Pretty cool stuff. I'm excited to check out Portal Knights. 
And I don't think we had a Rock Band 3, so that's good. We can always use more stuff like this, of course. So far today, guys, we have not been very busy, but it seems like just about every person that has come in has like got a decent amount of stuff. We've sold three, no, four handheld systems already today. We sold that PSP 3000. We sold, and three, no, even more. We sold three original Game Boy Advance systems and then one SP uh, AGS 101 already. Um, so we've been doing pretty good with that stuff. And uh, three of the people who bought Game Boy Advance systems bought multiple games, including multiple Pokemon games, two link cables we've sold now, um, and just like a bunch of other stuff. So it's really been adding up. Um, an older guy came in, he was looking for Tiger Woods 2008 and 2009 for the PSP, and he has seven and, or he has 2007 and 2010, and those are the only two games he plays, but he plays them religiously. He said he's played over a thousand hours of both of them, and he was like, he was like 68 years old. He was an old guy, but he loved his PSP. It was so cool, and uh, we ended up having tiger woods 2008 which he ended up buying it was only three bucks complete but still he was really happy and he was telling me how uh he he's played so much and there's one of the one of the holes where it's like in london or something and he's so good at it that um or one of the courses not just one hole but he's so good that he ends up getting like 50 under par when he plays um which i mean i've never heard anyone talk about the tiger woods games so like like so much like they like they just love them you know what i mean so it was kind of cool to see not only is he like an older guy who's playing a psp which usually when we get older people in here that are like into video games they usually have like an atari or maybe an nes a couple times you know here or there or they're buying for their grand their grandchildren but he was just like in love with the psp i thought that was super cool got two more trades in guys so in here, we got a couple PS2 controllers. One of them needs a new cap on the stick, but that's fine. Those ones might need to be replaced too. Uh, Richard can do that. We also have two non-DualShock PS1 controllers. We have a 120 gig original 360 hard drive, 120, and also a 250 slim hard drive. A copy of Sonic 2, and then three PS1 games. We got Final Fantasy VIII, Legend of Dragoon, and Chrono Cross. So that was the first little trade there. Let's we'll get the stuff back in here. And then we just got a pretty cool trade in. First up, we got a silver SP. Uh, it's got some damage on it, and unfortunately, it doesn't want to charge unless you pull out the charger a little bit. So it definitely has some, some issues. It's just an AGS-001. It's got some issues with the charge port, so I'm going to have Richard look at it, but uh, I was able to get it into a position where it wanted to charge, and then it did turn on, speaker works, all that. We also got, very, very cool, the Fire Emblem 3DS, which is super awesome. Blue one there, it's got the stylus. This one also didn't come with a charger, and it was completely dead, but, um, you know, I grabbed the charger from the back. Hey, plugged it in, came on, so very cool. Then we also got this silver PS2 Slim with these really bad scratches on it. They're like, it's, they're almost like burns. Like you can feel them. It like, it almost feels like a bump. So they're pretty bad right there. It went all the way down to the, you know, took the paint completely off. So that's pretty unfortunate, but I tested it. It does work. We also got a copy of Pokemon Soul Silver. It was just a cartridge and it was actually in the 3DS, but I was able to pull this case and manual off the shelf there to complete it. We also got Destiny for Xbox One and Destiny 2 for PS4. A third party PS2 controller, four GameCube controllers, all official. Uh, they're kind of beat up though, so they need like new sticks. And two of them need not just new caps, but like full new sticks, like that's pretty loose. There's also a GameCube in there and it came with a copy of Madden inside of it. And then the PS2 had a copy of The Sims. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, nothing too crazy, but that Fire Emblem 3DS is really cool. I've never had one of those. Super awesome. So it's going good so far. Sales have been really, really good. Although, like I said earlier, it hasn't been super busy. Oh, one more thing. 
We also got this Xbox One controller along with this stuff here. No battery cover, and I'm not gonna hook up an Xbox One just to test it, because <laughs> um, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of ugly, beat up, missing the battery thing, and then that port is really messed up, as you can see. So I'm assuming it's gonna be for parts anyway. I did pop in some batteries and I held the thing at least turned on, but um, especially with that being messed up, we can't sell it like that. So it's basically just a parts controller anyway. But yeah, pretty good stuff so far. And uh, it's 4.18 p.m. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I'm, this stuff is into the in the spreadsheet now. So I'm gonna keep working on it and get that stuff imported. Everything that was left over from Tuesday was on the counters here. I got pictures taken. I got things resurfaced. I got everything put away. So it's been a pretty good day. Got another trade in here. Customer brought in ugh, just the cartridge, but like usual, I was able to pull the case off the wall. All of our loose cases over here. That little empty spot in the 3DS, that's where it came from. And I was able to complete it. So pretty cool. Uh, we can always use more Pokemon games. People ask for them every day. So awesome trading. Two more trades here to show you guys. This one just came in. We got State of Emergency, Star Wars Episode Three, The Warriors, Urban Rain, which I'm not sure if I have this one or not. If I don't, I'm probably gonna hold on to it. Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, Rise to Honor, SmackDown Just Bring It, Backyard Wrestling, Lord of the Rings Two Towers, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. Then we have Fighting Force, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, and Power Rangers Time Force for PS1. That's the first one. Second trade, we got these Jay and Silent Bob figures, and they came with all these little accessories. And then we got a fat PS2 with a network adapter. Came with a silver controller, these cables here, uh, three GameCube memory cards, and then this big stack of games here. So let's go through these. Ugh, trying to turn them around with one hand. So there's some decent stuff in here. It's it's all like better titles, but nothing really crazy. Um, but not no sports games, you know, no cheap ones like that. There are some 299 games in here, but sorry, I'm trying to sit down. <laughs> There are some 299, 499 games, but nothing that like won't sell. And there's a couple decent Xbox 360 titles in there as well. So pretty good stuff overall. Um, yeah, I mean, RPG Maker 3, don't ever see that one. Um, the Gauntlet Seven Sorrows is a good one. You know, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer, not, not super desirable to a lot of people, but we don't ever get that one in. So cool stuff. And uh, it is now 8.26. Oh, there was also these, I forgot, along with all those PS2 games. So Vagrant Story, pretty cool. We have a couple copies already, but I'm not gonna turn down more. Um, so yeah, good stuff all around. Like I said, it's 8.26. I don't really think anyone else is gonna be coming in, but uh, yeah, I'm just curious now to see. We have one copy of Vagrant Story in there, but it's like, it's one that, uh, like it's, it's supposed to come in a double case, but they condensed it down to one. Um, so, yeah, just good stuff. It's been a pretty good day. Sales are really, really good for, you know, not being super busy, but we've sold a lot of system bundles, which adds up pretty quick. So, good day overall. And then uh, it looks like Abby's making some spaghetti and meatballs for dinner tonight. I'm excited about that. It's going to be keto-friendly, though, so it's not going to be like your standard noodles. She can't have them, of course, but I'm excited for that. I'm a little hungry, so I'm ready to go home and eat some delicious food. Before I get out of here for tonight, I just wanted to give a special thank you to Jake. He is the newest Patreon supporter. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. And uh, recently, I have contemplated closing down my Patreon. I know I've talked about this before, and um, a lot of you guys are like, no, don't do it. But sometimes I, I feel like I should. Not for any in particular reason, it's just that I don't necessarily need it. And I know that I don't just have like one or two Patreon supporters, I have quite a few for for a channel my size, I think. And I know that those of you who choose to support me or support the channel on Patreon, you do it for a reason, and not everyone's reason is the same. But I, I do think that for the people who choose to do it, they want to do it. Obviously, if they didn't want to, they wouldn't. But... It's extremely appreciated, and I don't ever want to come off as as taking it for granted or not appreciating it, because I definitely do, and 
it's not about the money because, you know, I, I make enough with the store to support myself and take care of myself and Abby and our animals and all that, you know, we're not in jeopardy of not being able to pay our bills or anything like that. So it's not, it's not about the money. We don't need the money. I just think I, I don't know. I like that people enjoy the videos or enjoy Abby and myself, our personalities, they enjoy it enough to want to support it in a way that's bigger than just liking the videos or commenting on the videos. And so that's the reason why I've decided to, you know, keep it going, at least for as long as I have. And, you know, there may be a point in the future where I do decide to close it down, but I don't want anyone who has chosen to support me there to think that it's because I don't appreciate it, because I definitely do. So... Thank you to Jake. Thank you to everyone else who is a Patreon supporter. You guys are awesome. And I'll be adding your name to the end card of the videos from now on. I know it's kind of dark, but Abby made some spaghetti with meatballs. This is not spaghetti noodles. This is spaghetti squash. And then I think she put a zucchini in there as well, but it's really, really good. And I'm so hungry, so I can't wait to devour this and then head to bed. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow.